session for all verticals. So I would like to request uh, uh, Professor Indu Kumar to please start the session. Thank you, Deeksha. Uh, please project my presentation so that session can be started. And let's begin with this session. Digital resources for teaching, learning, and assessment types and formats. Next slide. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, you are not visible. Something is there in front of the camera. Okay. Am I visible now? Ma'am, you were, but again, yes. Now it's no? fine. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yes, uh, so <clears throat> first of all, let us understand what is the definition of digital resource or what do we understand by digital resources. So digital resources are e-text, video, audio, voice narration, music, sound effects, images, and graphics singly or in combination to create a fictional or non-fictional media or multimedia narration. So like various formats of digital textbooks, which are there in text format are also digital books. Video audios, if they are disseminated through a digital mediums are also digital resources. Any piece of music, sound effects, image, if it is in the form of digital, uh, in, in digital formats are digital resources. So this is the uh, functional definition of digital resources. Next slide. So these are various forms of digital contents, mind maps, maps, simulations, audio, videos, then advertisements, interactive media, infographics, photographs. Next slide, please. 
in animations, cartoons, slideshows, timelines, diagrams, flow diagrams, charts, and graphs. So these are various forms of digital contents. Let me repeat again. Can we go back to the previous slide? If you want any special um, explanation on any of the formats, any of the forms of digital resources, you can write in the chat box. If you haven't heard about any of these uh, digital resources, mind maps, maps, simulations, audio, video, advertisement, interactive media, infographics, photographs, then animations, cartoons, slideshows, timelines, diagrams, flow diagrams, charts, and graphs. Anyone that you haven't heard about, please mention in the chat box. Dr. Prachi is requested to see the chat box if there are any reactions. <clears throat> simulation somebody has asked simulation okay yeah i'm giving uh, one minute to write mind maps graphs code charts timelines infographics Okay. Yeah, so there are some of the questions. So I will be demonstrating um, most of these uh, uh, digital forms of resources, which uh, I have mentioned here. And we will be also demonstrating one tool for creating timelines also in the subject specific tool session. So then you will also learn how to develop uh, timelines. Next slide. Next slide. So this is an example of mind maps. There are various tools and softwares for developing mind maps. Uh, you will be learning some of the tools for developing mind maps, like um, uh, mind map ke liye. Mm -hmm. haan. Free, haan. There, there is a software called view uh, free mind free plane are some of the software which can be used for uh, the development of uh, mind maps and here is an example of mind map mind map is something which is used to, to uh, can be used to teach any concept because uh, whenever we teach some concept, any concept, we have, uh, we organize our thoughts, uh, which are related to the subtopics and sub subtopics related to that particular concept. Like that learning can be unfolded if we use mind map to organize our thoughts, organize the, the, uh, Somebody has written something in the chat box. Like this mind map is for common food groups, the concept on common food groups. So uh, whosoever has developed this mind map, he has organized uh, the food groups into uh, seven, uh, seven subtopics like dairy, meat, confectionaries, water, or fluids then vegetables, fruits, grains, beans, and legumes. But if you want to organize them in some other way, you can organize them in some other ways also. So that is our reflection of uh, that particular concept that we are dealing with. So you can do it any which manner you want to organize your thought, you want to organize the topic which is in question. Next, please. And you will also learn how to develop mind map. We will take a software, 
uh, and uh, demonstrate it and you will be having um, hands on on that. Sorry, uh, I was muted. Yeah, so I think I have explained mind map and you uh, heard about it. So uh, uh, to organize our thoughts on any topic, mind maps are very helpful. And there are a few software like Free Mind, Free Plane, UV to create mind maps. My team will be giving you a demo on some of the mind mapping software and they will also uh, make you do hands-on uh, experiences on that particular software so that you can learn how to develop meaningful mind maps. So uh, as of uh, simulation, simulations give you a near to real 3D imagery of any concept that uh, requires 3D visualization. Like in my previous presentations, uh, presentation, I mentioned about AR, VR content. So AR, VR contents are uh, a variety of uh, simulation because they give us 3D visualization opportunity for 3D visualization and near to real image of a particular uh, concept which need 3D visualization. Uh, for example, concepts like Earth is spherical needs 3D visualization to understand it better because the um, Earth appears to us as flat. It doesn't appear as spherical. So, and uh, to understand it, it better, a 3D visualization is very, very uh, essential. So there are mobile apps which uh, are used for this purpose to uh, just depict the concept of Earth as spherical. Uh, and I think many of you and almost all of you might have visited uh, the uh, planetarium. So in planetarium also a simulated image of parts of universe are shown. So which gives uh, near to real image of parts of uh, universe. We cannot see the entire universe. We can see parts of it by 3D visualization. So all such contents are uh, simulation. I will be showing you some examples of simulation to make it more clear. Augmented reality contents are also simulation because they also attempt to give you a 3D visualization of uh, the concept that we deal with in every subject. One example I have already given to you, uh, like Earth is spherical, how universe appear, how solar system is placed in the entire universe. So all these uh, examples are examples of such con concepts which need 3D visualization and which can be explained best by using simulations. Next, Oda. Next slide. Yeah. So uh, uh, some participant has also asked about uh, the uh, example of uh, family, the uh, example of infographic. So I will be showing you an infographic here. So any digital content which involves information plus graphic is uh, infographic. Can we see uh, the example of family tree as infographic? 
Yeah, just wait for a moment. Sometimes flow diagram, if they also include uh, graphics into them, are can also be considered as infographics. Infographic to stand alone be yoga, na pas. So uh, this can be treated as an example of infographic as well as as flow diagram. So this is based on uh, the uh, learning outcome of EVS, which can be seen, seen here. The learner identifies relationships with and among family members. So this is the learning outcome uh, on which this particular infographic is uh, based. So there are three infographics because in one infographic, we cannot cover all the relationships that we see because we also have to adhere to small family norm. If we cover all the relationships here, so we uh, will have to show a large family to show all the relationships. So three family trees have been developed to show the relationship within and among the family members. So here you can see Shalini's family tree so uh, you can see two sets of uh, her grandparents, Dada Dadi and Nana Nani and their offsprings and what relationships they have with each other and with Rani. Next uh, is another family tree, Raju's family tree, wherein other relationship among the family has been shown. And maybe in your local language, you know these relations by any other address, by any other name. Next. Shalini, Raju, and there is one more. There was one more. So this was an example of infographic. Uh, what next we are showing? Please come to the presentation. Yeah. So this is an example of timelines because some of you have also asked about timeline. So uh, whenever we have to deal with the, uh, some chronology, timelines are the best to depict the chronologies. So here you can see policy directions and initiative for ET and ICT. So starting from 1972 uh, up till 2020 uh, are shown here in this timeline, uh, the progression in ET and ICT and policy directions. So ET scheme was launched on, in 1972, then INSET program was launched, then class project, NEP 1986 and its program of action, then ICT at school, and MEICT for higher education. Then revised ICT at school scheme and ICT awards were introduced in 2010. Then you can also see ICT policy in 2012. Then NROER and ICT curriculum were launched in uh, 2013. So like that, you can see, uh, you can see here a chronological projection of various policy directions in ET and ICT. So timelines can also be used to show some progression in science as well, some in social science, especially in the subjects like history. Next, please. So this is an example of diagram, which you can see, uh, see here. So this explains the uh, process of waterfall formation. Waterfall formation is something which takes place in uh, centuries. And likewise, many landforms are formed in uh, centuries. It takes a longer period of time to um, yeah, develop such uh, geographical uh, 
phenomena. So here you can see in this diagram, hard rock, soft rock, and undercutting are labeled here. Then overarching collapse is also um, labeled here. Waterfall decrease upstream, you can see in the label. So if you go through the label and explain the formation of waterfall, Without any diagram, it will uh, appear very abstract, but with the use of diagram, you can explain it properly. So if water flows from the hard rock, so and it uh, puts pressure on the soft rock, so undercutting in soft rock is faster. And over a period of time, there is a overarching hard rock, which remains. And then pressure of water is very uh, strong on that hard rock, it collapses. That is why beneath any waterfall, you uh, can see a number of, uh, a lot of broken uh, rocks. So uh, that is how the uh, waterfalls are formed. And there are very small, um, uh, 30 seconds animations are also there on the same concept and which makes it more easier for this concept to be explained. So uh, using digital resources in classroom to explain some abstract concept saves uh, time of teacher and also ensures the visualization of that particular concept. Next slide. So here in this slide, you can see example of cartoon and uh, there uh, is a picture hanging on a tree and a dinosaur is shown in the picture. The caption uh, on the top of the image is missing since a billion years and other animals are astonished to see this image where this species has vanished. So to explain the concept like extension of the species and evolution theory of Darwin. So stage can be set by using uh, the uh, cartoons in a, a proper manner, in an effective manner, where the class gets warmed up to understand that complex concept which is introduced by a very light kind of content like digital content like cartoons. Next slide. So this is an example of comic strip. And this comic strip explains uh, how to uh, combat acidity. If we have acidity, if we suffer from acidity. So here you can see uh, the uh, comic strip going. So there are two children and the boy is having a burning sensation in his stomach. And the girl says that you are suffering from acidity. Then boy reacts acidity. So the girl says, yes, if you have excess of acid in your stomach, you suffer from acidity. Then the boy is astonished and says acid in stomach, but acids are corrosive. So why it not? It is not the acid is not uh, harming my stomach. If I have acid in my stomach, then the concept of epithelial cells is introduced, which releases mucus, which covers the wall of a person's stomach to protect the stomach from acid. So like that, the complex concept of epithelial cell and their function in uh, protecting the stomach are shown in an interesting manner using a comic strip. And at the later part of the comic strip, the uh, remedy uh, is also suggested for getting rid of acidity. So like that, a small concept like epithelial cell is um, depicted through a comic strip, so which can be seen uh, over here. Next, please.
so this is a very small animation uh, simulation so you people also asked about simulation so here you can see uh, the uh, amoeba which is a single cell organism so in a single cell organism like amoeba how digestion takes place so the this simulation depicts that next please this is another example of simulation uh, just a minute uh, yeah so uh, this is uh, this video is prepared through a uh, augmented reality uh, solution so we have used kaun sa hai ye kya naam hai iska ha qr so there is a qr app you can install the qr in your mobile and you can also take a print of the sheets which are available on qr site so if you scan the qr sheets using the qr app which you have installed you can have the 3d appearance of any abstract phenomena like the video i am showing you here based on augmented reality is on uh, volcanoes how uh, volcanic eruptions take place so you can play the uh, <clears throat> video so the sheet is now being scanned through the mobile app that is how it appeared red and then blue and then into 3d simulation next slide please so this was also a simple example of a simulation and also augmented reality context so this is an example of image uh, so you can see in this um, image a lot of kitchen utensils are hidden and we can build activity around such images there is also a similar image where sports and game articles are hidden अच्छा ये स्पेलिंग पूछ रहे हैं लेट मी राइट यू यू आई वी आर यस नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो वी कैन आल्सो डेवलप फोटोग्राफ इन टू गुड लर्निंग रिसोर्सेज यू कैन सी हियर इन दिस वीडियो विच आई हैव डेवलप्ड uh using uh, some photographs which was which were clicked by someone uh, in animal and bird sanctuaries so by doing some research on the photographs that we click we can create them into good digital learning resources yes so here you can see uh, the photographs of bird Alternative names: Migratory 
happens if they have or their natural habitat where they are found. So uh, name, scientific name, alternative name, names is if they are known by some alternative names. Then we uh, can also search about their habitat and their migratory habits. We got an idea how we can um, develop photographs into digital resources. Next, please. So this is Hi, an example of two My name is Anjali. Let's talk about traffic signals. We all see traffic signals when we are on the road. What do you think these traffic signals are for? Traffic signals help everyone using the road to know when they have to stop, wait or go. There are three lights of different colors in the traffic signal. These are red, amber or yellow and green. Each color has a special meaning. For drivers, red light means stop your vehicle. Amber light means wait and green light means go. Pedestrians must only cross a road when the traffic signal is red. This is the time when vehicles have stopped to let people safely cross a road. Sometimes we see the figure of a man on the traffic signal. This signal is for Pedestrians. When this man turns green, it means we can safely cross the road from the zebra crossing. When the man turns flashing green or red, we must wait until the man turns green again. We must always cross the road with an adult and we must hold their hand while on the road. So friends, always remember, safety first. Bye. And you are muted. Yeah, interactive. Uh, the, this example is for interactive content, interactive gamified content. So we can see here. So these are created using a software called H5P. So we will be giving you a demonstration of this particular software and how to create oh, such interactive you. content using H5P. Hantu pa rakhe hoye saman ko tolne ke liye utne bhar ke baat ko taraju ke dusre palde par rakhein. Dubara prayas kare. बहुत अच्छे 
arrange numbers on the ladder in ascending and descending order. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oops, try again. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Identify the occupation. Write the name of occupation in the blank space. Well done. देखें और पहचाने क्लू को पहचान कर सही विकल्प पर क्लिक करें शांग नाम की यह सभ्यता पीली नदी घाटी के आसपास विकसित हुई यहाँ के लोगों ने लेखन रेशम के कपड़े ईट मिट्टी और लकड़ी के भवन बनाने की शुरुआत So this software will also be demonstrated to you, and how to use digital content in a classroom plan. So any digital content can be uh, used pre-lesson, mid-lesson, and post-lesson. It is up to the teacher on how to use them. Whether a teacher want to use it pre-lesson, mid-lesson, or post-lesson. Not only uh, it is the discretion of teacher, but it also depends on what. type of digital content and with what purpose you are using if any digital content need to be utilized uh, pre lesson for warming the class so it should be pre lesson but if the instance come mid lesson so digital content can be utilized mid lesson likewise as culminating activity also we can use a digital content as post lesson uh, there uh, as per nep 20 as i have already mentioned that um, there are uh, two verticals especially um, one for foundational literacy and numeracy and other is for uh, adult education so we will be demonstrating these uh, particulars doctor um, these verticals dr prachi will uh, take you through uh, these uh, verticals and uh, how to access digital contents from this vertical these verticals and how to create uh, digital contents for these verticals it's something that you need to understand by going through these uh, particular verticals so i am just handing over to dr prachi to take you through these verticals and the kind of digital contents which are placed on these verticals um uh, so much ma'am yes please yes dr prachi and i am also there i am logged into the session if any uh, query is there i am there to support Thank you. excuse me ma'am please sir can you please there is a query actually uh, one of the participant has asked can we get the spelling of the app used for the simulation so if dr prachi can i have already mentioned in the uh, chat qr q u i p if you scroll up you will get the name and spelling okay ma'am thank you तो 
Professor Indu Ma'am has already mentioned. So we have a dedicated vertical on Diksha portal for foundation literacy and numeracy and adult education. So now I am taking you through uh, that vertical. Now I'm sharing my screen. So I hope my screen is uh, visible to all. Yeah, is my screen visible, uh, Miss Nidhi? Yes, I yes, got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So for accessing uh, Diksha portal, you have to open uh, your browser in your mobile and in your laptop or desktop. So simply you just open the any browser and uh, on the search on the top, you can see my cursor. On the top, you just write diksha.gov.in. Once you write diksha.gov.in, this page will appear. So this is the Diksha homepage. Here you can see this is the entire page of Diksha. So you can see some dots are visible here. Here you can see my cursor. So this is the, when you click on the fifth dot, you will get the banner of foundational literacy and numeracy. When you click on the explore button, you will land the page, uh, you will land the page of vertical this is the foundational literacy numeracy vertical page you can see you can see this some uh, thumbnails are visible here first is nipun bharat document second is second is nipun uh, mission videos and third one is regional workshop courses so when you click on explore of nipun bharat document you will get the complete document related to Nippon Bharat uh, mission uh, is available here. You will get the policy document and information related to this mission and relevant information. So you will get the complete policy document here. Also the FLN mission document here. So you can see on the right hand side some icons are some folders are given. So these are, when you click on any folder, you will get the resources. So when you click on any resources, this, uh, this resource will open on the left hand side in media player. Here you can see the FLN mission document. So this is the FLN mission document. You can see it. You can full screen it. So you can, this is the policy document, complete policy document. You can read any resources, policy resources related to Nippon Bharat mission, foundational literacy and numeracy. So here you can see three bars also given on the left hand side top. When you click on these three bars, you can directly share any resources from Diksha portal. When you click on share button, you will get the link you just copy the link and share. So you can directly share any resources from the Diksha portal via this link. The second option you can see here is download. When you click on download button, you can directly download any resources from the portal and you can use any resources offline. Uh, of, uh, you can uh, use any resources also. When you click on print button, so you can directly take a printout from the Diksha portal. So this is how you can share, uh, download any resources from Diksha portal. You can see the share button here also. Directly you can share the directly from this button also. So this is, so here, here, here you can see the 
policy document here that here is a nipun bharat flipic flip also vidya pravesh document here you can get all relevant document related to nipun bharat mission here now i am going back to the landing page now you can see the second uh, icon is nipun mission videos here you can get all the relevant video related to nipun bharat mission like launch video while india has nearly 25 crore school going children they face a challenge while learning here you can see the launch video available here nipun mission and come here Affluent uh, tools. Here you can got the glimpses of uh, uh, tools and resources which are available on affluent vertical. So you can get the glimpses, all glimpses. You can uh, access the uh, tutorial video also. We have a tutorial video also. So accessing resources on affluent vertical of picture. So uh, from this video, you can get the complete idea how you can access any resources from uh, on Appalent Vertical. So we have a tutorial video also, and we have a foundational learning study video also, and some Appalent video also. So here you can get the complete. Uh, here you can get the videos related to Appalent mission. What is the, this mission? What is the purpose of this mission? So you can get the uh, complete, uh, you can get the idea uh, of this mission. So here we have a video resources related to this mission. In third icon, you will get the, uh, re, uh, we have conducted, uh, Ministry of Education conducted a workshop. And we have, when you explore, this icon, you will get the action plan of Nipun Bharat uh, mission of, uh, of the all state and UTs. Here you can see the complete list of state and UTs. When you click on any state, you will get the action plan of uh, that state on Nipun Bharat mission, what they are doing and what they have done in that area. So you, you will get the uh, complete idea what they are doing. So here you can get the action plan for all state and UTs in this section. Now I'm going back. So I'm scrolling down. Here you can see this about information about the found, what is the purpose or what is the aim of this foundational literacy and numeracy vertical. So you will get this about information of this vertical. When you scroll down, here you can explore develop my, and developmental goal wise e-content. So we have a three developmental goal in foundational literacy and numeracy. What is that? When you scroll down, you will get this uh, the information related to developmental goal. What is this? Developmental goal is children maintain good health and well-being. When you click on that, you will get the some detailed information about this developmental goal. Likewise, second goal is children become effective communicator. When you click on this, you will get some detailed information. And third developmental goal is children become involved learner and connect with their immediate environment. So likewise, we have when you click on this, you will get some detailed information about these learn, uh, developmental goals. Now you want to access resources. So what we will do, we will click on any explore button. For example, I'm clicking on explore for class one. Here you can see all three developmental goals are written here. When you click on any developmental goal, So you will get here, you can see on the right hand side, a complete a list is given here. So this list is a learning outcome list, which is the, which is the based on developmental uh, goal two. So these all are learning outcome. 
and when you click an any learning outcome you will get the uh, list of resources i am clicking on learning outcome e, uh, ecl 14.7 so when i am clicking it you can see the list of resources which are mapped with this learning outcome here you can see the worksheets and activity sheets then assessment sheet which is based on this particular learning outcome then you can see the list of videos infographics readings so this is how resource variety of resources are mapped with these learning outcomes So, I am just showing a example of infographic. You can see the uh, class, and this is the learning outcome, and this is the infographic, which is based on this learning outcome. you can replay it you can rate the uh, every resources on diksha portal and this is the activity sheet in the coming session we will uh, learn how we can create these infographics this is the overview and uh, in coming session you will learn how we can create uh, such kind of infographics worksheet videos and interactive uh, for uh, foundational literacy numeracy for uh, any class so this is an example of worksheet so all learning outcomes are mentioned here so uh, now i am showing a example in english because uh, these uh, all are state in english speaking is state so i am showing example of it is taking some time to loading so this vertical name is a uh, foundational literacy and numeracy vertical someone is asking in chat what is the name of the vertical so this is the uh, nipun bharat mission uh, so this is the uh, example of uh, infographic grade 1 subject english and the learning outcome is connects text with illustrations while reading the story so this is the story now i am showing you a example of a uh, video bite size video which is the uh, which is the based on this uh, the same learning outcome connects text with illustration while reading the story
so i guess it is taking time to load it i will share the link of this vertical in chat box so you can uh, you can also explore the uh, resources and it is taking longer time to load so i am not showing you you can explore yourself and uh, i will share the link the direct link of vertical in chat box similarly you can get the worksheet here or assessment sheet video infographics so likewise you can explore resources from preschool 1 to class 3 when you click on preschool one you will get the learning out developmental goal or you will click any developmental goal you will get the resources based on the uh, learning outcome which is based on the developmental goal when you scroll it down you will get the courses for continuous uh, continuous professional development here you can see the explore button when you click on explore you will end the page where you can get the resource uh, courses related to fln so you can join any courses and do any course so this is uh, this is the vertical for foundational literacy numeracy so again i am repeating when you uh, when you write diksha.gov.in you will get this page here you can see multiple dots are given here the fifth dot is anipun bharat mission that is uh, that is the mission and vertical name is foundational literacy and numeracy when you click on uh, click on explore so you will get this vertical here and the second uh, vertical is jadui pitara when you click on fourth dot on the same page diksha.gov.in on the same page you can see the some uh, banner are moving when you uh, click on fourth dot that is jadui pitara we have a, a physical pitara also so this is this is this vertical is the replica of physical pitara so when you click on this vertical is also for the foundational stage when you click on explore button you can see the pitara digital pitara when you click on open you will get these 10 sections so these 10 uh, sections contains the resources for foundational stage which is uh, which is from uh, uh, 3 to 8 years so here the first section is books here you will get the barkha series story series uh, firki uh, children magazine uh, right now we have a only uh, books that is anand activity book bal vatika so this is the activity book so we have a uh, this activity book in uh, multiple uh, in 13 regional languages 
we are in process to translate these uh, this activity book in 22 schedule language right now uh, this book is available in 13 languages so you can see we have uh, this book in urdu uh, marathi gujarati bangla punjabi odia kannada telugu malayalam so i am showing you malayalam version So same activity book is translated in Malayalam language. So we have in Tamil, Asmis, Urdu, Hindi. So this is the activity book you will get in the book section. The second category is cards. So here you can see Color seriation cards, sequential thinking cards, joker cards, regional number cards, Urdu number cards, number tracing cards, place value cards, alphabet tracing cards, one mala, swar tracing cards, one mala, vengeance tracing cards. So I'm clicking on alphabet tracing cards. You can see the complete list. Uh, letter A, B, C. You can see the complete alphabet li list is here. So you can click any tracing card. So you can directly download it, download it, print it, share it. So now I'm showing you regional number card. So this is in SME language. So this is regional number card. This is joker card. You can access any cards number from this section. Now going to back. So the third section is chart section. Here you can see the al uh, alphabet charts, swar chart, reengine chart, number chart. is taking some time it is loading When you download any resources, so you can uh, use any resources offline without internet connectivity.
is taking time. Yeah, it is loaded. So you can see the complete chart of SOAR here. Likewise, you will get the complete chart of alphabets with the example. So you can get the Benjen chart, alphabet chart. So the fourth category is dominoes. Here you can see the color dominoes, number dot dominoes, Hindi sound dominoes, and English sound dominoes. So, this is the color dominoes, and this is the number dominoes. So, this is the dominoes, and the next section is flash cards in the flash uh, flash card section you will get the memory card pre number concept card picture cards alphabet flash card regional alphabet cards urdu alphabet flash cards hindi akshar varnamala flash card story cards classification card so this is the uh, five sets of card, memory card, see the pictures and identify. So what is the miss, uh, what is missing? Child has to identify what is missing. So this is the memory card. This is pre number concept cards. Three number concept card, big, small. So you can see the instructions. Instructions are given in English and Hindi in both languages. So you can see the difference, big and small. So this is the pre-concept card. So picture cards are not yet added. We are in process to develop picture card. So this is the alphabet card. So you can see the alphabet in uh, capital and in small letter and with an example. So you will get the all alphabet cards. The next section is guidelines. So this is the guidelines for teachers and trainers. We call UNMUK. These guidelines are called UNMUK guidelines. Trainer handbook for Bal Vatika. Similarly, these guidelines are available in multiple languages. You can see these guidelines is available in English, Punjabi, Marathi, Gujarati, Bangla, Uriya, Asmis, Karna, Kannada, Malayalam, Urdu. So we are in process to translate these, uh, this guideline also in 22 uh, scheduled languages. So right, right now, we, uh, these guidelines are available in 10 languages, uh, including English. So you can see the guidelines and we have a user manual for Jadu Pitara. We will upload very soon the user manual and we will upload the folding back pocket to store display and learning materials. So we will upload remaining resources very soon in this section. So the another <laughs> section is posters.
so we have a picture reading poster and poem poster so we have uh, these resources available in a uh, picture reading posters you can see the list and uh, this is the poem posters so you can explore these vertical these resources i think is taking too much time to load so i'm just moving right now we don't have any resources in puppet section we will upload <clears throat> very soon and in the uh, in puzzle section we have a jigsaw puzzle and what is missing so this is the puzzle we this is the resource chitra dekho naam batao batao kya gayab we have to child has to identify what is uh, identify what is missing so this is the puzzle and similarly we don't have resources in toys and games section so we will up, uh, we will create and we will upload resources for this sections also so you can also create resources for these uh, categories for your state or in your regional language also so now i am moving to the next vertical that is education for all vertical similarly this is uh, the sixth one dot is for education for all vertical so this vertical is for adult education for adults when you click on explore button and the about section here you will get the about information in english what is this vertical what is the purpose of this vertical you will get the information in english when you click on hindi you will get the about information in hindi also here you can see the documents promotional resources and workshop resources when you click on document so you will get the relevant document the policy document related to this vertical so you will get the primer that is ujas and you you also get the worksheet related to this primer here is a complete list of worksheet in literacy area and this is the worksheet in numeracy area so we have a four volume of this primer so this is the primer 1 and this is the primer 2 half 2 ujas bhag 2 uh, this is the uh, volume 3 and this is the uh, volume 4 and we have a guidelines also so mark darshika when you click on this you will uh, this is the guideline for the teachers so so second section is promotional resources here you can see some infographics these all are the five major area of adult education vertical that is foundational uh, numeracy literacy and numeracy and vocational life skills development critical life skills basic education and continuing education so you can see 
uh, in critical life skill we have a further sub categories that is financial financial literacy digital literacy legal literacy child care and education health care and environment commercial skills and the family welfare so this is this, this infographic is talks about the complete it give about the complete uh, orientation uh, complete uh, overview of this vertical similarly we have a uh, resources for foundational uh, infographic for foundational numeracy importance of adult education critical life skill and we have a video launch uh, video also and we have a jingle song also so this is the and uh, these all promotional materials are available on this section and uh, we have uh, some workshop resources also you can explore it so by scrolling it down you will get the five major area of this vertical that is foundational literacy numeracy when you explore it you will get the uh, res uh, name of resources we have a uh, worksheets assessment sheet videos and infographics when you click on it you will get the worksheets this is the complete list of worksheet and this is the worksheet for numeracy and the, and the, that literacy worksheet so similarly in critical life skill when you click on explore you will get the sub categories and when you click on any sub categories you will uh, get the resources based on that categories when you click on financial literacy for example so you can get the uh, resources in pdf format in video format you can see the resources also so this is the vocational skill development when you click on you will get the sub uh, categories with so you can explore the resources similarly basic education and continuing education so this is all about uh, these verticals if you have any query related to these verticals you can ask me you can write in the chat box i will share the link of these verticals in chat box so you can uh, explore these verticals and you can explore the variety of resources which is available on these which are available on these verticals so that's all from my side if you have any query please ask and please uh, you can write on the chat box also